So 90% of this was bought at Aldi's discount grocer. So you know you can eat healthy or keto um, for cheap. Okay, so first thing we got are some steaks here. No carbs, uh, grass-fed. I uh, got a little bit of bacon and turkey bacon. And what you want to look for is never any of these. Okay, if it just says no antibiotics, no hormones, it means that they can do it at any stage in the process. So you can't trust that. It has to be a never any during any stage of the process. And here we got our salmon ready to eat uh, from Norway. Okay, uh, then we got our grass-fed ground beef. Uh, I read that there's a difference between grass-fed and grass-finished, so something to look into, and it depends on where you get it from, uh, the U.S. or Australia. Then we got some lean ground turkey. Uh, important here to keep it pretty lean because some of the bad things that we don't want in our body can be stored in the fats of animals. Got some organic free range chicken. Again, there's always a debate out on chicken, but you know, do what you will. Uh, one of my favorite things on the planet, uh, kimchi. I think it just has two grams of carbs. I could eat this all day. Uh, extra virgin olive oil. We know how good that is for you. Uh, great, um, saturated fats, uh, antioxidants, uh, polyphenols. So that's phenomenal. Avocado oil. This is great also because it's good for you and it has a high smoke point. Good to cook with. There's some debate on whether or not you should cook with this um, because when you cook with it on high heat, it changes the composition of the oil. And there have been some studies that show that it could be toxic for us. So something to think about. Uh, macadamia nuts, um, let's see, only four grams of carbs, so perfect. Uh, pork skins, never had these before, I'm going to give them a try. Um, no carbs, so why not? Uh, cabbage, I think it's got about uh, one cup, has about 1.3 grams of carbs, so perfect. Um, lots of vitamins in that. Asparagus is really the go-to, it has like 0.5 carbs per serving, so that's a great, great thing to have. Uh, cucumber, got broccoli, bok choy, I love this. Um, I think it's only two, two grams of carbs per serving. Cauliflower here. Uh, I've got it frozen. I do like to get uh, some frozen vegetables sometimes because when they're harvested, they get flash frozen immediately, which preserves a lot of the nutrients as opposed to when you get fresh. Obviously, when you can get fresh and you can eat it right away, go and do that. But if you can't, a lot of it loses its nutritional value over time. Okay, so di uh, let's see, three grams of carbs and the cauliflower. Brussels sprouts, a little bit high in carbs, but... Uh, yeah, what do we got? Eight grams per serving. So something to look at. Uh, always pink salmon. If you can get it wild caught is probably your best bet. Uh, you can't go wrong with that. And again, I do like to get the frozen one as opposed to the fresh one because when it's caught, it's immediately fresh froze, flash frozen, kills bacteria and also uh, preserve some of the nutrients. Kale and spinach. I read somewhere that spinach can be a little bit hard on your stomach, uh, especially during keto. So something to take a look at. Uh, I got another bag of kale because I love making kale chips. Made them yesterday with some salt and olive oil and baked them in the oven. They were phenomenal. A uh, little bit of beef jerky. We're going to give that a try. Zucchini, I think about six grams of carbs per serving. Mushrooms, two grams of carbs per serving. Avocados, I could eat those all day long. Swiss chard, um, yeah, I'm not sure how many carbs. I think three grams of carbs per serving. A little bit of almond milk. I'm going to try that with some 100% cocoa unsweetened. I'm going to try that for like a chocolate milk snack um, with some coconut oil uh, to get fats before bed. We're going to give that a try. Berries are okay. If you're going to have fruit on keto, it's got to be some berries. These are actually a little high, about 13 grams. Uh, these have almost none, so you're fine. Berries should be okay. Got some shrimp. Um, uh, cheese, uh, this is just a guilty pleasure. Uh, the ghee, I'm going to try adding this in with my morning coffee. I had a uh, keto coffee, bulletproof coffee. So basically coffee with coconut oil and butter. And it was incredible. So I'm going to try that today. Guacamole again with avocados. And again, check the ingredients. I was actually surprised um, that this was okay. Just avocados, little distilled vinegar, and the rest jalapeno salt, dehydrated onion, uh, granulated garlic. So, you know, make sure you're looking. I wasn't too sad about that. I got some keto mayo high um, in fats because it's made with um, 
medium chain triglycerides, basically coconut oil. I'm going to try these. I saw this somewhere. Smoked oysters, 13 grams of carbs. So got to be a little careful with that. Feta is always a great bet. One of the healthier cheeses you can get along with goat cheese. If you can get goat cheese or uh, bison cheese, anything like that, make sure you get that. Um, and for your tuna, make sure for the mercury, you want to get chunk light or skipjack in water. Um, a nice clean salsa. We're going to try a clean tzatziki sauce. We're going to try and always Greek yogurt. Um, so minimal on the carbs. And I wanted to get some with a little bit of fat. I read recently that having the fats, um, especially on keto is a great way to go. So I think I got about everything. There you go, folks. That should last me a couple weeks, to be honest.